hope you're doing fantastic. So, in today's video, we're going to have a lot of fun creating this dynamic, colorful, animated graph using the auto animate feature on Adobe Experience Design. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. In this design, I wanted to create a simple circular progress bar with a gradient fill, like this one created in After Effects, because as you know, After Effects gives you far more options to play with shapes, like having the trim path option and working with the gradient strokes, which unfortunately not the case yet on Adobe XD. So to achieve those effects, we'll try to use the built-in auto animate feature to manually recreate this scene. To give you more insight on how this could be done, I considered two different workflows. In this video, we're going to cover the first method, which is great if you wanna go with a simple one color circular progress bar. If you are more into gradient colors, check out the part two of this video in the description box, which will be out very soon. Let's start crafting. So let's grab our circle, start from the center, and hold shift alt or shift option on mac and i'm gonna go with the medium size to make it perfectly centered now get rid of the fill let's select something very nice like a bluish greenish color something like this or any favorite one of yours and make sure to hit the plus button on this color tab on the assets panel to save this color so we can change it easily in afterward. Now let's increase the size something like 50 and let's bring the gap to the top something like very gigantic like 3000 to end up with one dash It's gonna be our main element of our circular progress bar. Now let's round up the gaps and this is our main element. Once created, keep in your mind that this dash is our building block of circle. So let's duplicate it. Hit Ctrl D or Command D on Mac and rotate it. You don't have to be too accurate with it. Just eyeball it. Make sure there is no like cat in between and select all the dashes and repeat the process. Control D to avoid wasting time. Once done, click on the uh, artboard name, hit Control D to duplicate the artboard this is our ending scene and this is gonna be our starting scene now select all the dashes on the first artboard click on the rotation value and bring it down to zero now let's switch over to the prototyping mode now select the name of the first artboard and click on the tab this blue tab drag it over the second artboard and click on the blue tab for the trigger we'll go with time let's change the light to something like 0 0.5 seconds and the our action of course is auto animate and let's ease it in and out for the duration i did something uh, a little longer you can go with one or two seconds and that's it let's play it and see and bam there you have it guys very nice simple colored progress bar and yeah thank you guys for watching definitely let me know if you want me to cover something else 
something special and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe also click the notification icon to follow my latest tutorial tips and tricks this is ayub Garafi from interactive bench peace